Okay, one of the biggest features to our uh, support for our customers nationwide is our ability for our technicians to be able to remotely log in and troubleshoot the systems and see what the customer is seeing. And it's efficient and it saves a lot of time. Uh, what I'm about to show you is how we get set up so that you can give us access to do that. It's something that you give us access to. You watch us do it at any time. You can take control of the, sys of, of the computer and you can shut down the remote session anytime you want. Uh, it's very easy to do and it'll save you a lot of time rather than trying to troubleshoot over the phone. So we recommend that customers do this. So let's get going and show you how quickly it is and easy it is to get set up. First thing you wanna do is on a computer that's connected to the network, the same network uh, that the video recorder is plugged into, whether it be a, a switch or just your internet modem, that's all it has to be, the same connection. You go to our website and you go to the bottom of the website and you'll see a link. Now that link, depending on whether you're using Windows or Mac, you simply click on it to download the software package, depending on which type of computer that you're using. Okay, I'm gonna turn this over to Rick and he'll explain how to do the setup for Macs. To install any desk on your Mac computer, you need to pull up our website, backstreet-surveillance.com. Once the website's pulled up, scroll down to the very bottom and you'll see the link there for any desk Mac. Go ahead and click on that to download it. And once it's done downloading, it should go ahead and open it up. Just go ahead and click on OK to approve that. And then this window will come up. You just need to take the AnyDesk icon and drag it over into the Applications folder to install it. And then once it's in the Applications folder, you can double click on it to run it. You get a message that comes up saying that it can't be opened for security reasons. Uh, this is pretty standard on Mac computers since they're a little bit more secure. Go ahead and click on OK on that error message and then open up your system preferences. Select security and privacy. And then under the general tab, you'll see that any desk here was blocked. Uh, you just need to select open anyway. And then go ahead and select open. And this will bring you to the AnyDesk portal here. Uh, normally we can connect with just this information, but Macs are a little bit different. We need to select configure down here for the permissions in order to configure those. This will take you back to security and privacy, where we just were under general, except this time we're under privacy. And then under accessibility on the left, we need to make sure that AnyDesk is checked. It won't let us check that though until we click on the lock here and type in the password for the computer. And once the lock is open, we can select any desk. Once you've got accessibility checked, you need to locate screen recording on the left hand side here as well. The same rules apply for that. You select screen recording, and then on the right hand side, it'll have a check mark for any desk. Just make sure that's highlighted in blue and it's got that check mark in there and then click on the lock when you're done here to save those changes. And then once those permissions are configured, you should no longer see this error message that was there, and you can give us that number so we can connect on your computer. Okay, and that's the steps to uh, getting set up for uh, remote support. Now we do recommend it's, it's, it's more efficient and convenient for you uh, to follow these steps and get to the point where you're ready to give us the number before you call tech support and uh, we'll be glad to jump right on with that number and get you taken care of.